My name is Dorothea Gregoire and I'm an entomologist, also known as an insect expert. And each month I will share my knowledge on a variety of insects and critters, as well as tips and tricks for how you can come to appreciate support and nurture habitats for beneficial insects in your yards and garden spaces. Ever wondered how healthy your soil is? Well, stop guessing and ask the worms. Last month, I introduced you to three easily recognizable functional groups of earthworms at work in your soils, the epigeic, endogeic, and anisic worms. Today, I'm going to share with you an exercise called the half a cubic foot of worms that you can do in your own farm or in your garden to see how these three groups are represented in your soils. The number of earthworms in your soil can be a good indication of how well your soil food web is functioning. Earthworms love eating soil microbes and soil, so if you have a healthy earthworm population, then you likely have a healthy micro population that's supporting them. That's why performing this exercise can be a helpful tool in assessing your soil's health. So here's how to do the half a cubic foot of worms exercise. Grab a spade, a tarp, and a measuring tape or stick and head outside. Pick your test location and spread out the tarp nearby. Use your measuring tape to mark out a half foot by half foot square area and plan to dig half a foot deep. Dig out the soil from this square carefully, placing it gently on your tarp as you go. Once completely excavated, you'll then sort and count your worms and note the tally on how many you find. When sorting and counting your worms, place containers in shade or add a little bit of soil or some moist leaf litter to prevent desiccation and death of the worms. If you're finding at least five worms in your six inch cubic hole, then you're well on your way to good soil health. When sorting your worms, remember that the epigeic, so those compost worms, those little red wigglers, will be in the top layers of organic matter. The endogeic worms, so those are the common earthworms, will be in the topsoil, so the top layers of the soil you've dug out. The anisic worms, so those big reddish night crawlers, can make it all the way down below the topsoil and might actually have burrowed too deep for your sample to have captured. I hope you've had some fun exploring worms through this exercise. That's all for today. We'll talk soon.